Hello, and today I am going to tell you how to make um, hair textures or basic steps on how to make hair and stuff like that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, I uh, guess, pick a hairstyle that you want. Um, just gonna pick some random hairstyle. What the heck? How the heck I get? Hold on, sorry. Lordy. Okay, here's. Alright. So basically, just pick any hairstyle. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just gonna pick that one. Click Dev Product. If you know how to create or know how to do basic creation, you know how to click on Dev a Product. Uh, usually, I like to put on my little model Avi. I call her because things be looking weird with the uh, new baby or whatever. Yeah, so okay, that's the hair. Obviously, that's not the color you want to use. Some people actually just take this and they just save it and upload it and then they just change the color. That's not creating. That's called taking somebody else's shit and freaking putting your name on it, plagiarizing. Try to come up with your own freaking colors. It's not really hard. So anyway, you want to go to GIMP. Where's my GIMP not coming up? Here we go. Uh... New 256 by 256. That's okay. Blah blah blah. Oh, um, um pick a color, which is not hard. Uh, I guess pick a color. I'm gonna pick a random brown and basically fill that in. Uh, I'm going to see the buttons. Okay. But this is just a simple brown. Okay, this the simple way to do it is you can add noise. RPG noise. Uh, you can use the correlated noise or you could just not use it. I don't use it. Uh, you can add as much or as little. I usually put it like at 20, 15, 10, depends. And then you go to filter again and you go to motion blur. Uh, you want to put the angle at 90. The length, you could put the length at anything. You can put it all the way at the top, you can put it at 100. Uh, whatever fits your fancy, I say. I put mine at 30. And just press OK. And there you have it. It looks, you know, furry hair looking. You add another layer. Make sure you click on that layer. Uh, switch over to white and get the paint brush. Uh, you can basically uh, make the paint brush as big as you want, as small as you want, blah blah blah. You can use any brush size you want. And just basically put as many lines as you want on here. I usually put two. Uh, filter that and go to Goslin Blur. I use the Goslin Blur. Goslin, I probably said it wrong, but a lot of people use Motion Blur. Some people, it depends, you know. Like doing hair, you find your own pattern that st stands out from everybody else's, I guess. Uh, I usually put that at like 30. And then you want to make sure you that's you on the layer and click on overlay. So you can see as it overlays and it turns out into a lighter brown. And then file, save. And then um, put it somewhere where you can find it. Um, 
just gonna put here JPG file. Here, 22, blah, blah, blah. What the heck? Alright, you know what? I know I'm just trying to rush, but just took my own. Just put it somewhere where you can find it, basically. And now you wanna basically go to I forgot where I put it, I think I put it here. Naughty, where the heck did I put that one? I have like so many different here. Okay, here we go. And apply. And there you have it. A bomb. That's the simple fast way to do it. You know, like just put a color, add some shine to it, and there you have it. Brown. Now if you want to enhance it a little bit, I would say go to undo. Go back to the bomb. Undo. Uh do you want wanna pick like a lighter brown maybe? And um like draw lines squiggly, it don't gotta be straight, it could be you know, whatever. You can say you wanna add like another shade of brown or whatever. And then you get the blur tool. And you basically just blow it in. And that's how you get the different, you know, colors, as I would say. Then you press filter, add noise again. Well, add as much or as little as you want. Okay. Filter. Motion blur. Okay. Add. And you know, basically put the lines again. Oh, wrong one. I hate using that one. I like using a fuzzy. And even if you want to do three, you can do three lines, do the same thing filter, motion blur, or gaussian blur, or whatever, filter boat. You know, you could basically mess with it. Overlay. And there you go. Press save again. And then you have a brown with more color and you know, more, as I say, realistic looking. And if you want more shine or if you want the shine to be bigger, just make the white lines bigger or you know, whatever. And there you have simple hair. And basically you do that with everything with any hair color you want and that's that hope this helped you till next time <laughs> that was so corny <laughs>